hello guys so as you can tell i'm in a different setup i am kind of like in my living room slash like dining room where we eat um i'm kind of in my night clothes and if you can tell it's night time it is 11 45 so almost like midnight and i think and decided to make this video at night because i feel like when we talk about certain things at night it's kind of hits different and I, I just really think you can get to the core of the issue faster and like night talks are like more deeper than day talks and I, I don't know why but they just are and so yeah um in today's let's talk slash girl talk video we're gonna be talking about fake people and how to tell if someone is toxic so um if you don't know what being toxic means it's basically when someone's fake or most of the times people refer to fake people as a snake so yeah that's how we refer to a lot of fake people um and i just call them a bunch of snakes or fakes so most of the time i also call them haters but um yeah um if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up i would really appreciate it also hit that subscribe button down below and make sure and click that notification bell along with it and um, yeah, I'm ready to just get in this girl talk. So let's just go right ahead. So I wrote all how to tell if you're toxic in this little notebook. So the first way to tell if someone's toxic, um, you're emotionally exhausted after you just had an argument with them. So basically let's say I got an argument with someone who I thought was my friend, but of course it's a fake or a snake. And let's say we got in this argument over something little or something huge and you just feel so emotionally drained from that person like you're just tired of that person you're tired of arguing with that person you feel like all that person ever wants to do with you is are you so um i definitely definitely feel like that is a way you can tell if someone's toxic because toxic people love arguing and it also goes along with this they love to think they are always right like you were always in the wrong, they're always right. And about 99.9% of the time, they are usually wrong. And they just like to think that they're right because even if they know they're not, if they think that they're right, then that makes themselves feel good. So yeah. Second thing is they try to control you to make you feel guilty. It doesn't even have to be an argument. They try controlling you and try controlling your life to make it feel like you know oh my god wow i feel so bad and you know you feel guilty about yourself and you should honestly never feel guilty about yourself no matter what the situation is and especially if that situation was not your fault you shouldn't make a toxic person let like let alone a hater literally make you feel personally guilty for something you one didn't do and two that person controlled you and try to intimidate you to thinking that you were guilty of something you were not. And honestly, I hate that about fake people is, like I said a little bit ago, they try to always seem like they're right and they're usually not right. They're usually in the wrong and everything. Third thing, they lie to you about almost anything and everything. So like, let's say um, I texted this fake person and I was all like, hey, did you go over to my boyfriend's house? Even though one, I mean, I'm not actually, you know, taken. So yeah. Um, but anyways, let's say I just said, hey, we're at my boyfriend's house. And they said no. And then I asked my boyfriend and they say, yeah, she was with me. Or yeah, he was with me. Because, you know, sometimes toxic people can even be boys. But let's be honest, it's mainly girls. And so, yeah, they lie to you about anything that they can. Um, and I'll say a lot like this, you know, I'll probably say it a thousand times and I'm very sorry, but honestly, they just love to feel like they're right in a situation that they're not. Cause you know, they want you personally to feel guilty so that way they can make themselves feel good because they know they are nothing but a fake hater who wishes they had a better life. And most of the times, most of these fake and snake and hater people go through like bullying and stuff like that. And so then 
in return oh well i've been bullied so i'm gonna bully someone else so you definitely don't know what a person's been through so if you definitely know someone's been bullied and they're acting most of these certain ways i definitely talk to them if you know they were not bullied in anything like that they're a toxic boo i promise you fourth thing they are just totally jealous it, it's not even being jealous of you it can be jealous of anything jealous of your clothing jealous of your home jealous of somebody else's home but literally they're just so jealous of you to where they make it seem like they want to be really bad and most of the time you don't want them to feel like that but they just do you know, you can't really help a fake person whenever they feel really jealous because fake people are gonna be fake. So yeah, um, they're always gonna be jealous of you. Um, maybe jealous of who you're dating. Um, they might not just be jealous of you personally. Like they, like, let's say I was a fake person, which of course I'm not, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. But let's say I, I was like, oh my God, I wish I had the girl's eyebrows. And then I just like acted fake towards her. It doesn't even have to be like that. It can be like they're jealous because you're friends with this person, but that person's not friends with that toxic person because of the way they are. And so, yeah. Um, fifth thing, they always play the victim. Like every single thing that happens with them, they try to control you and imits like intimidate you to make it think that they're the victim and that that other person is wrong especially if it's like your best friend you're like oh my god best friend i'm so sorry like i can't believe that happened to you i'm gonna go text blah 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 right now um it's definitely one of those things they try to play the victim and about 95 percent of the time or actually 99.9 .9 percent of the time they are not the victim they are the one who is causing all these problems and they just want someone else to feel sympathetic for them when truly they don't deserve that because once again, they're the one causing the problem. They're not really the victim. So yeah. Um, sixth thing, they are so selfish. Like they only care about themselves. They don't care about you. Like and overall selfish and jealousy kind of go together because they're jealous of like maybe what you have or who you're dating. And then they're selfish because they want to try to act like all they care about is themselves because a lot of toxic people do that they're very selfish and honestly it's so sad because you should never be selfish especially if they're like your best friend they should never be selfish your best friend to be like hey are you okay you know it shouldn't be like oh my god i went through this and then whenever you are going through something they're like oh i don't care like at that point they're definitely toxic because they don't care about anything that goes on in your life they only want you there for something wrong that goes on in their life seventh thing number one straight hit off the bat they talk behind your back no real friend honestly talks behind someone's back and i will say this you may be a fake person but if you say it to somebody's face you're not talking behind their back. So you are not being fake. But if you are telling one of their friends or one of your friends all like this fake and rumors and stuff, then yeah, you're definitely fake, 100%. And I've dealt with many people like that who talk behind my back, but haven't had the decency to say it to my face. But you know, I'm just kind of used to it. So I don't really worry about it. So I definitely say if you have anyone like this, don't waste your time on keeping them, even if they're like a best friend. Now, most of the time I've been there, I've had like a best friend for like six or seven years. And we. Hey, being every day does not mean that they're not in the same city. So my mom woke up for a little bit, it's gang. But uh, yeah, I had a best friend of like a couple years and it turned out she was really fake. And so it is kind of hard to go away from people you've known that long because you don't want to believe it. And then it just becomes reality. So sometimes reality is very hard. Um, I think the eighth or ninth thing, one of those, um, 
they try to throw shade or shady comments at you like talking about maybe your weight the way your face looks um maybe your eyebrows didn't look good and they can really mess them up and got a little smudge somewhere and they literally just try to throw shade at you not even like when you're alone they even do it in front of your friends and then especially if your friends laugh and you know you're not laughing get rid of them too because clearly they're fake last thing all i have to say is this, for this whole video they're 99.9 percent or actually 100 percent always around drama it doesn't even have to just be your drama it can be like your best friends your actual best friend if y'all couldn't hear that i'd be surprised but it was a motorcycle loud at like 12 in the morning but um yeah anyways um they are constantly surrounded by anyone's drama like it doesn't you don't even have to know that person they're around that drama and try to get in it so you can tell they just always want trouble so um yeah honestly if they have even like if they have more or at least two of these like signals please get rid of them because they are f a k e fake and a snake and a hater and so i don't even know why i threw these sign up but anyways i'm gonna probably head to bed and i will see you guys in my next video bye